welcome to the 2010 Adrenaline Film Project. I'm Jeff Wadlow, uh, and that was an incredible slideshow by Dickie Morris. Thank you so much for that. Yes, I'm the idiot uh, who wore a Coca-Cola shirt even though the festival is sponsored by Pepsi. Uh, joining me uh, this year is Jay Lavender as one of our fellow mentors. Uh, Jay is a uh, writer and producer of The Breakup with Vince Vaughn. Uh, and he's got a lot of projects right now and a good friend. And we actually went to Dartmouth together, so I'm really thrilled to have him here. Uh, and returning this year, of course, is Lee Kilton Smith. Academy Award nominated performances like Transamerica with Felicity Huffman and the biggest movies ever made like Iron Man and Iron Man 2. So we are really lucky to have her with us. Thank you for joining for the Um So uh, as I said, this is our seventh year, 2010. It's hard to believe that we've been doing this for seven years. Does everybody know what the Adrenaline Film Project is? Yeah. I think you've got a pretty good idea. I think uh, we should, we'll give you a quick rundown of what it is from uh, the lovely Tilton Smith. Hi, everybody. Um, it's 72 hours. It's 72 hours of these filmmakers' lives. Um, they meet us. Uh, we select um, a genre for them. Um, we then invite them to go away and come in with a pitch. They pitch to us. We either green light the pitch or we ask them to go back and come back later and re-pitch it to us. Um, then they go and write their script. Then they get greenlit again. Then they go and cast the darn thing. Then they shoot it. Then they edit it. And all along, they are collaborating with all of the mentors and any of the other people that happen to stop by, such as Peter Bogdanovich. In 72 hours, these filmmakers have accomplished what you're going to see tonight. It is an amazing experience. And tell more about John. So, uh, Jeff asked each of the teams to name uh, three genres they're interested in doing. So each of the teams will name some genres and then Jeff will ask them uh, to give them some examples of movies they like within those genres. But sometimes uh, he'll play with them a little bit. So, for instance, one year, a uh, team said they really loved horror and uh, thriller, so I believe you gave them chick flick. Yes. <laughs> so, in some cases, the uh, teams got what they wanted, and in other cases, Jeff challenged them a little bit. And, and it was challenging this year, and, and we maintained one of our consistent challenges, which is giving every team the same prop and the same line of dialogue that they had to incorporate into their film. So pay close attention, you're going to hear the same line and the same prop of dialogue in every film. In, in years past, we always pick things that related to the theme of the festival. For example, our first year, the theme was speed, so we did a bullet loop. The line was, you're going way too fast, and justice was the chain. Um, but finding God in the movies is very challenging. The line was, I want to believe it, and the uh, prop was a bottle of miracle whip. Um, <laughs> We had a clown nose for the comedy year, the green card for when we did aliens. Okay. And uh, this year we decided to take our cue from the opening night film. Um, and we will announce that. Oh, yeah, we decided to take our cue from the opening night film, which was Black Swan, Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan. So the line that everyone had to include in their uh, project is it takes two to tango. <laughs> yeah, that was me. And the prop is a pink ballet slipper. Demonstrate that. <laughs> yes, just one, not two, just one. Anything more? I think that's <laughs> Jay and Jay and Cody. All right, so once we're done, uh, you guys have, there will be ballots passed out if you don't have them already. Uh, don't mark them, great, right, since you have them. So wait until you've watched all the films. And you'll see there's a little line next to each film. So tear off along the line the film you choose and then fold it up. So tear and fold right down that line. If you tear more than one, we're not going to count the ballot. If you don't fold it, we'll all be very confused. Uh, and then after that, um, during the mission, we're also going to see a collection of films from the last few years. Last year. From last year. Tell us a little bit about those. We're going we're gonna to screen uh, three films from last year during the intermission, a uh, high school film, a film from a UDA team, and a film from a community team while we count your ballots. And after we do that, we're going to give out all the awards, so please, please, please stick around. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think we're going to 
to uh, kick it off. Oh, one quick thank you I should have mentioned when I held up the prop. we got to thank uh, the hip joint on the downtown mall uh, yeah. for providing those this yeah. year. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right. Okay, as we kick off our first film of the evening, it is called, excuse me, it's called Racification. And the genre is magical realism and hit it. <laughs> 